Thank you to Cricut Canada for sponsoring this video. Previously on my extreme condo makeover, it's time. We ran into an issue that I did not foresee. You can't close this door. It's a Bluetooth mirror. <gasps> I actually made a decision. This is really impressive. What up, hooligans? It's Jennifer, and I'm back in my DIY position. That means today we are making DIYs. So a lot of you guys know that I have been working on my condo renovation for a couple months, but today I'm doing something very exciting because I really wanted to get started on decor and organization while some other things are going on. I'm gonna be making some aesthetic decor things and organization things with my Cricut machines. I'm basically running a Cricut factory over here. I'm literally obsessed with them. I have uh, the Cricut Explore 3 here. I got the Cricut Joy here. You want any machines, come to my house. I have so many. If you don't know what Cricut is, it is a smart cutting machine that you can make personalized projects with. It can cut hundreds of different materials like vinyl, paper. In this video, I'm gonna be engraving acrylic. You can engrave metal, cut leather, wood, like so many different things. Insane, the capabilities. Even if you don't feel like you're a creative person, this will get your creative juices flowing. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use these and like how versatile all these machines are. The amount of different kinds of projects I've made with these machines is insane. So I'm excited to get started. All right, for the first project, basically we are working on the main slash common bathroom. Here's what it's looking like currently. It looks really, really nice compared to what we started with. It's been updated, it's so modern, I love the vanity, all that kind of stuff. But after looking at it, I feel like I kind of go like too overboard with the white. I feel like it's giving hospital vibes. It's like a little bit too sterile. So I decided it would be a fun idea to make some wallpaper slash like a wall mural with my Cricut Explore 3. The thing is like, I don't really know what I wanna do with the wall yet, but I also wanna make this a statement wall. I feel like it's time for me to like take bigger risks and just like hope it pays off because big risk, big reward. Also could be big letdown, but I'm choosing to believe that it'll be a big reward. I am actually going to go into Cricut Design Space, which is the app that pairs with all of the machines. It's like actually super easy to use. It kind of looks complicated at first, but like once you actually do it, it's so easy. It's a free app with an access membership. You get access to so many fonts, designs, and projects that you can customize and make your own. So I actually am going to try to find a pattern that I can use on the wall. They just have so many cool designs in here. So I'm kind of undecided between like a tile pattern. They've got some really cool tile patterns or, okay, I found this really cool base pattern a while ago and I've been meaning to use it in a project, but maybe this is the project. It's kind of like really in your face. So I can't tell if it's gonna be not cute. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna like mock up some designs so I at least know what I'm dedicating myself to. Okay, this is my like bad recreation of like two of my ideas. This is like the face one and this one is the tile. The artistry did not pop off, I will say. Actually, I'm gonna like do it for real <laughs> so it looks a little better. Here are some real mock-ups. I also have to decide what color I wanna use. I'm leaning towards like either black or white. The wall is like this off-white color, so black would definitely show up, but I'm not sure if the white one would show up. It would be kind of like this mild, like pastel look. I kind of like the black. Okay, because the Cricut Explore 3 is such a versatile machine, it's a great entry-level cutting machine, but it can cut up to 12 feet of smart materials and like 100 plus different other materials. I can make this wallpaper quite large. And I can also like cut, score, draw, add metallic accents with like foil and stuff. You know the drill, just like 100 different functions. The deal is though, because my wall is obviously wider than the machine, so I have to split it up into a couple different sections. So I'm just gonna expand this original graphic to the width of the wall, which is like 69 and a half inches. So I'm just gonna make this graphic that size. I'm just gonna cut it up into the widest possible width. In this case, 11.7 inches. I'm just gonna create sections of that and splice them up. 
now I have the different sections that I can cut out. It's time to do that, which is my favorite part because it's so satisfying to watch. All right, so for this project, I'm using some smart vinyl, which means that I don't need to use a mat with this. I just insert this roller tray thing and it's super convenient. I'm using removable vinyl just in case in the future I somehow want to take this off. Like I have that option. So I'm just inserting this into the machine and it's going to cut all 12 feet at once, which is so convenient because I don't have to like take it out and like stick it onto a mat and stuff. And now is the satisfying part. We just watch it cut. Okay, here are all of my rolls of wallpaper all cut out. They're gigantic rolls. In order to see the designs on them, it's time to weed, which is so satisfying. And here is some weeding ASMR for you. still not finished on our part or the contractor's part. So there's still some stuff to be done like up on the ceiling, the lights have to be changed and the shower is still a whole situation. But in the meantime, oh my God, I'm decorate. So I have all my Cricut wallpaper here, which this is kind of a big risk and I don't know if it's gonna pay off, but I did use removable vinyl. So if I end up really hating it, I can always take it off, but the goal is to not hate it. Okay, we've unraveled one of the pieces. This is what it's looking like. Kind of cool. Actually, we should go from that side first. I'm gonna use transfer tape. Transfer the whole thing. Once I got it onto the transfer tape, it was ready to be applied to the wall. Usually the transfer tape process isn't this big, so it like takes like a minute, but because this is a larger project, it did take a little longer and like a little bit to figure out, but I basically just applied it like wallpaper. I made sure to cut out a little section for the mirror first, so I obviously could stick it underneath the mirror, but after I applied the first section, this is what it looked like. I was still very doubtful, but I was like, I already have the first section on, so I, we got to continue. I just continued with the rest of the sections by just measuring first, cutting, and then applying the transfer tape and applying it to the wall. As you can see, the lines are so crisp. A couple other options I could have done were to paint or to get custom wallpaper, but painting would not have had such crisp lines. Wallpaper, first of all, like would need to make custom wallpaper. I don't really know how to do that. Also, wallpaper is like a lot harder to apply in my opinion because you have to make sure every inch of the paper has to stick to the wall versus vinyl is little tiny sections. If a certain part didn't line up, I could literally just peel it off and like stick it back on so that it would line up with the next section. Ah! Okay, thoughts? I am kind of processing right now. These are like two different vibes with the light on and with the light off. And I think they both look really cool and it's definitely like a cool statement. I'm kind of obsessed. I've never seen this in a bathroom before. I love that it was all custom. Nobody has this on their wall, but I feel like this is exactly what I needed. <gasps> Yay! Okay, let's move on to some more projects. All right, it's time for our Explorer 3 to retire for a little bit. Now let's move on to the Cricut Joy. Look how cute and little this guy is. Do not be fooled by its size. It can accomplish a lot. And I can say the same for myself as a small 
person. So, bathroom, drawers, organization. We are going to tackle this problem. I have this beautiful vanity with drawers. Everything be slipping and sliding inside. One thing that I know about myself is that I am not an organized girly, but with a new space that's like completely empty and like ready to move into, I really want to change that. I have bought some drawer organizers, trays, and I wanna label them. Because I'm going to be looking at these from the top down and I'm gonna be seeing this portion of it when I open the drawer, I'm gonna be labeling that portion. It's time to make some custom labels that are really cute. I can literally choose whatever font I want to. Look at this little guy, it's so cute. Let's design some labels for the Cricut Joy. Obviously this is for my bathroom, so some of these containers are perfect for my hair tool. So I'm gonna do like a bunch of like hair stuff, hair curler, hair straightener, skincare stuff, face mask. I can customize the font. I feel like I'm gonna stay with something pretty uniform looking and non-threatening. So I'm just gonna send it to my machine to cut, which is just by Bluetooth. All right, here's my little Cricut Joy machine and doing this thing, cutting some vinyl, but it also has the ability to cut 50 different materials, including leather, and it's compatible with smart materials, which means it can cut up to 20 feet long of vinyl. But this is what it looked like once it was all finished cutting. So cute and small. I'm just gonna cut up the little pieces so it's easier for me to make the little label stickers. Here's a little ASMR. And then I'm just going to weed off the excess that I don't need. Then I'm gonna use some transfer tape, stick it onto the front of these stickers, and then apply them to my containers. containers here with the labels. I think they look so cute. I'm going to put them in the bottom here. Face mask. Time to fill them up. You want to see another one of my Cricut machines because I will show you. I will show you. I told you I have a whole Cricut factory going on here and I didn't lie. This is the Cricut Maker 3. She is my baby. I've had her for the longest. So nobody say a mean word about her. She's very sensitive and she's also a little hard of hearing. Okay, oi, hello my lady. What are we gonna be making with her today? I have the most exciting project. I have been wanting to try this for the longest time. And also like acrylic light up signs have kind of been having its moment and I wanted to make my own. Ever since I found out that you can engrave with the Cricut machine. I've been wanting to try this out. Had to do a little bit of research, but it seems pretty straightforward. This Cricut Maker 3 is a heavy duty guy. So I know I want to use this for the engraving. It can also cut over 300 different materials like wood, leather, the obvious cardstock vinyl. So it's a great creative assistant for everyone. If you want to talk about versatile, engrave, emboss, deboss, cut, perforate, score, and cut fabric and wood. Like, it's pretty cool to say the least. Oh, it also works with smart materials so it can cut up to like 12 feet at a time. I feel like it would be cute to make some sort of reminder list that's quirky and fun, like a little bit real and also a little bit too real. Those of you who follow me on my Instagram junk account, Generation Junk, know about my, let's say, digestive issues. And the bathroom is where some of that digestion happens. You know, I've also realized that the um, um, better the digestion, the happier my life is. So I'm gonna make this like wavy text at the top because I feel like it'll be a cute little moment. And then I'm just gonna type out the rest. 
cute. So this is the final design. I have to make sure that it fits onto the acrylic. It's pretty small, it's only like six inches. Obviously this needs to be engraved. So it's a little bit of a different process than the other two. Basically you need to make a bunch of vertical cut lines so that when it's all put together, it looks like it's filled in. I could also just do an outline, but I feel like the filled in look is what is calling me. I'm just gonna like slice this up into a bunch of different lines. I just searched up a tutorial of how to do this on YouTube, so it actually is really easy. Here is the acrylic panel that I'm going to be using. It's two millimeters thick, which is the maximum amount that the Cricut machine can take. I'm peeling off the protective film, and then I'm sticking it into the middle of a strong grip mat because I don't want it to move around at all when it's engraving. So I just kind of like eyeballed where the center would be because I'm going to try to line it up in Cricut Design Space, which I'll show you in a bit. I'm also gonna stabilize it more with some tape around the edges to ensure that nothing is moving. Now in Cricut Design Space, I'm going to line it up also in the middle of the mat, trying to center it as much as possible around the six inch mark of mat. And then it was time to engrave, which was the moment of truth. Look at how cool this looks. So I obviously still have to dust off some of the excess shaving. So I just used some tape for that because I didn't want to like cut my hands on the fresh engraving, but it looks so good. And then when I put it into the light base, oh, it it's so aesthetically pleasing. I am literally obsessed. I want to make a hundred of these. This is my new favorite thing. I can't believe how well this turned out. And then in the actual bathroom, this is what it looks like. I am obsessed with it. I think it looks so good. It gives such a cool moody ambiance, especially at night. It kind of feels like a hotel now. I feel like it's a great nightlight situation for at night if I don't want obviously all of the bright lights going on. It just creates such a great vibe. I am obsessed with this, you guys need to try it. Ah! This is what the bathroom is looking like now. I'm obsessed with it. I definitely didn't think that this is the direction that I would be taking it in, but I'm really glad that I stepped outside my comfort zone, got a little creative and like tried something new. You know, the white hospital vibe was not gonna cut it for the condo. And I am so happy that my factory full of Cricut machines were all able to help me out with these projects. I am not lying to you, like I literally am obsessed with these machines because they're like a creative person's dream. They can do so much. Now that I know how well they can engrave, I'm gonna be engraving everything. Catch me just making light up signs for the rest of the week. It's my comfort project. You can find all of the materials and the machines at a variety of different Canadian retailers online and in store like Walmart, Costco, Indigo, Michaels. There's so many places you can find this. So highly recommend picking one of these or all of these machines machines up. Thank you guys so much for watching. More condo videos coming soon. I'm so excited with the progress. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!